All right, the next uh, part type we're gonna cover is gonna be how to load a 16 millimeter plastic tape active component uh, on a digi-reel onto a 16 millimeter Yamaha CL pneumatic feeder. Uh, this process is gonna be almost identical to the 12 millimeter feeder uh, loading as the 16 millimeter is very, very similar. The only real difference is the possible stroke of the pneumatic arm as well as the obvious width of the feeder neck. Just like with the 12 millimeter, the first thing that we want to do, we want to unlock our feeder. We want to lift up our feeder guide. And then we want to lock as much as possible. Although with the 16, it may not hold very well. So we may just let it hang out. Again, uh, with these plastic tape digi reels, we want to make sure that we have a good interface between our leader film adhesive tape and the actual tape film here. So I've lifted up my uh, film on the tape and just made sure that I have a good bond with the adhesive tape. On this one, um, we have a, another an interface here between our um, leader tape and the actual component tape. And these are quite expensive components, so we want to be very careful um, to ensure that we don't waste very many of them. So in this situation, we want to just barely lift up on this film here, ensuring that the adhesive tape is going to pick it up properly. Uh, loading the feeder, loading the reel itself on the feeder is uh, identical to the 12 millimeter feeder. So we don't need to go into detail on that here. Uh, again, as with every other feeder loading example, we're gonna put our leader film under this uh, notch here and we're gonna advance our tape. Um, again, you wanna be certain that your film is coming up like you want it to and you want to make sure that your uh, component tape is not binding on the uh, gear wheels or gear teeth sorry now we'll kind of pull the um, component tape forward as we are loading our uh, film onto the rollers. We can kind of even bring it down a bit if we want to, but we already have uh, you know, the right angle here. So um, this guy is pretty much loaded up. We'll go ahead and drop our arm here and see if we can. Sometimes you have to make sure that these latches are all in the right position everything here is set up and ready to go we'll get our film loaded up onto the film collection gear set and we're ready to go we'll make sure our feeders are locked into place as much as possible um, now one thing that i want to show you on these feeders is you have the ability to adjust using these screws the amount of stroke that the pneumatic um, arm will use to advance the gears. You may have to fine tune this um, once the machine is actually loaded and you test it pneumatically, but for now we'll leave it where it's set. What we can do, we see that the two options here are 12 and 16. So we can come and measure the distance between our components here, and we see that center to center it's roughly 12 millimeters. So we don't want to adjust it because it's already on the 12 millimeter setting. Now, what we want to do, we can see that our leader film to component tape film interface is good on that adhesive tape there. So we're going to just slowly advance four millimeters at a time until the part is just covered 
you can see it's just covered here, right? And we can maybe go one more, and now we'll go a full stroke, and we can see that that component would be fully uncovered as needed uh, to be picked up by the machine, and we'll let a new component forward. So without wasting more than one part, we're certain that our feeder is going to advance properly when installed on the machine.